a matchup from the American League Central. We'll see the Kansas City Royals on the road as they play against the Chicago White Sox. It's the MLB on 2K Sports. Great to have you with us. Early May matchup. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, and John Cruck. 2K Sports welcomes you. Zach Greinke on the mound makes the start against this lineup. Cellular Field in Chicago. The White Sox looking for a little home match. The starting pitching, we'll see Jared Washburn. So, Steve, what's in store for these Kansas City hitters today? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead on the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. Sponsored by Pepsi, we'll see what Trey Hillman's offense looks like. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Rick Ankiel's a special one, and how special? There's not many pitchers in the history of baseball that can come up to the big leagues as a pitcher and then turn themselves into an everyday position player outfielder and still produce. He has a great bat, and you have to remember, he's still learning. Well, let's see if some... And it's Juan Pierre now to lead it off. Lost yesterday for Kansas City in a tough four-game series. They lost three, just picking up the one win against the Rays in Tampa Bay. Well, this team is trying to keep an even keel right now. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. They are 500 over the last 10. It's just like they're treading water right now, trying to figure out what kind of team they are. And if they can figure that out and get on a stretch, this team is going to be just fine. Swinging the ball, hit softly towards the hole. And the leadoff fan of this ball game's on board. See if they get it started early. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. Washburn set and delivered. Catcher can't control it. On the rudder, takes off. So they can't make the play. But Gary's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. The 1-0 pitch. Line towards second. Beckham. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Number 60. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Butler's in the box. Ball. Low for ball one. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. Pierre is heading home. Pierre scores. Let's take Kansas a look where the Kansas City Royals, Royals rank right now in the American League. Fifth in stolen bases, 13th in batting average. And, well, the on-base number's just not what they'd like. And that really does hamper their ability to score runs because the more runners you get on, the more chances you give wow. yourself. And here's Rick on Keel. And with the lead, this lineup looks as though they're ready to do some more damage. Uh, still a ways to go, but pitching's going to catch up here. Well, they staked out an early lead in this one, just where they want to be. Well, you know, when you hit like this in the first inning, you start to anticipate maybe a healthy bit of run support coming in this game. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away, 2-0. Oh, Gary, they're taking advantage of some early pitching mistakes. You have to do that because you never know if those mistakes are going to happen later in the game. Take advantage of the opportunities. He's ready in Washburn, the 2-1. And it's through. Base hit on Keel. And De Jesus is now home. For the Kansas City well, you see the pitch Second down base. in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And that gets down for a base hit. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. Avila's at the plate. Looking at the numbers last year, he hit 200 against the White Sox here in Chicago. Started to go around, held up, but it's in there, 0-1. 
No balls, one strike, Washburn. Who tries to frame the circle change, but it's one and one. Here's the pitch. And he looks at a fastball in there, and it's one and two now. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. To deep right center. Two on Keel towards third base. Here's a look at teams getting it done on our league leaderboard. The staffs that have the lowest ERA. The White Sox number one. The Mariners in second. In third, the Yankees. Jays fourth. And it's the Red Sox number five. Now, when you lead the league in ERA, it takes a lot of pressure off the offense to score runs. Their pitchers have really gotten it done so far this year and allowed the offense to take some relaxed at bats. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Strike two. Strike two. Gordon doesn't like to get behind here. See what he does with the 0-2. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. You're Struck out. him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. Great offense early. First inning sees the first two runs of this game. With Kansas City on top, two to nothing. And doing the pitching, it'll be Zach Greinke. He'll be starting this one off for Kansas City. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? When you take a look at Zach Greinke, you're talking about the complete pitcher. An overpowering fastball, an unbelievable breaking ball, and an off-speed pitch that he can throw at any time in the count. This is a tough day for any hitter when you're facing a guy like Zach Greinke. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throw on to first in time, one away. Shortstop. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, you talk about a veteran presence in the middle of a lineup. Paul Canerco has been one of the more consistent power hitters in baseball over the last eight to ten years. He's a guy that just does it in a calm, quiet way. He doesn't put up the huge monster numbers, but he puts up the consistent numbers every year. But he's also loves to get that big hit. Let's see if he can deliver one here in this one. And he's in at second with a double, one out. First base, number 14, Paul Canerco. We talk about a happy guy right there, and so is his manager. Getting there to second base, two outs to work with now for his offense. Let's see if his teammates can bring him in. Granke with the delivery. Swung on and missed, 0-1. A tough season for the Kansas City Royals in 2009. Another losing season. And no, there's a swing and a line drive. And Canerco retired. Now batting for the Chicago. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. And we talk about Kansas City building blocks. That Granke, of course, on the mound. Billy Butler, who they hope is going to be a solid middle of the uh, lineup power hitter. Well, that's the thing. They're young players, and it's this is what you have to build around. Anytime you can build around a guy who's an ace of a staff, the fact that Billy Butler is a guy that, that finally put up the numbers that everyone thought he was capable of in the number three spot gives them a middle of the order guy to build the lineup around. Problem is, they need a lot. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air, deep into right field. Goodbye, home run, a two run digger. This two run homer ties the game up. Clutch piece of hitting. Two runs coming in on the long ball. Here's a look at our Pepsi WPA chart. Well, this is the way to answer right back. They fell behind in the top half, but got back on the board and tied things up. And you don't see that happen very often. After you've fallen behind, sometimes the wind is taken out early. Well, I tell you what, nice response by the now offense. Batting. Now they got to see if they keep adding on runs. Now credit the White Number Sox 10, offense attacking, Jordan. trying to do what they can back to bring this thing back, evening it up. Tie game now. Let's see if they can add on some more runs, Gary. Line drive out of play oh. down the right side.
This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And there's De Jesus out number three. They come up with two runs to pull even. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. Wonderful evening for baseball. Temperature did not drop a bit with that sun going down. Still pretty cool. Popped into foul territory down the left side. One away. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. Wednesday they wrap up this Kansas City series. And then a home series facing the Jays and their all-star Vernon Wells. Another team at the top of their respective division. That's Thursday through Sunday. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Twins and their hitter, Delman Young. The team they rolled over last time out. And Kendall's in the box. Well, looking for a bounce back performance today. Some disappointment after last game striking out twice. Washburn set and delivered. Cutter just misses. 1-0. and oh. Well, good movement on the cutter there, but he's got to get the ball down to the zone. He can get hurt with hitters throwing it up there. And he looks at a fastball in there. 1-1. One and one. One one on the way. There's a bullet towards third. And that gets down. Kendall's got a single. Coming so Juan Pierre will Kansas come City up. Warriors. Now the State Farm the leaderboard Fielder. staff's responsible Six. for the fewest Juan free passes Pierre. in the league. The White Sox number one. Second, the Mariners. Third, the Yankees. The Rays fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball the one thing they really hate to see, and that's putting guys on base without having to swing the bat. Well, this team does it better than anyone. They don't walk people. They're the best in the league at it. And when you have a pitching staff that's going to throw strikes, the defense around them are going to play so much better because you're always on your toe knowing that at any time a ball can be put in play. That's what this team gives you. And Pierre is retired. Well, I, you know, might have been able to get the out at second, at least getting the lead runner, but at least they got the sure out at first. First count on DeJesus. Here it comes. Starts him off with a cut fastball inside. 1-0. and oh. Going to have to look for a little bit more patience at the plate in this game because last game out struck out three times chasing pitches out of the zone. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's two and one. He's ready in Washburn, the two one. Three balls, one strike to Aces. He'll be looking something now that he can drive. And the fastball is over, three and two now. Well, the hitter lays off this one and takes the strike, realizing not a pitch he wants in this situation. Here's the three two pitch. And that one fouled off by DeJesus. Hit up the middle. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. After the two runs allowed in the first, he's doing what he needs to pitch deep into this ball game now. And it'll be the White Sox. Do up 6-7-8 in the lineup. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Alex Rios to lead off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. And anytime you can dominate like they did in that series, feels good. Three for three sweep against the Yankees in New York. Well, you talk about a team that's absolutely smoking right now. Nine wins in their last ten games. That's pretty warm. First ball scorched right at the second base, but he showed quick reflexes to be able to make the play. It's going to be Krasinski. Well, you talk about Zach Greinke in 2009, the Cy Young winner. 16 wins, but a 2.16 ERA, and he was the most dominant pitcher in baseball. If he played on a team that could score more runs, he would have easily won over 20 games. The fact that he played for the Royals, just winning 16 games, was a great thing. Hot shot towards the hole. Well, we have a moment courtesy of State Farm. Let's see who has the league league in hits. 
That brings up Mark Tian. Certainly uh, no pitcher had as many games that he could have won and didn't as did Zach Greinke. He just had all those 2-1, one, one nothing ball games that he played in, and a lot of the times when he turned it over with a lead, the club lost. Yeah, it just wasn't a pretty... Swung on, hit. And that'll put Tian on first. Good offensive chance here. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. And Mark Kotze up. Runners on first and second with one out. Granke with the delivery. Swing, hot shot. And that will keep the runners. They have to stay at first and second. What a great snag right there to get the out. Tremendous athletic play. And Posednik's batting. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one. Swing the bat well. The first pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off the mound. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. They're still tied here in Chicago. And the three. And looking on, Trey Hillman. And he knows it starts with great pitching. Happy with the last inning on the mound. Now looking for the offense. And get him to chase that one outside ball one. Here's the 1 0. Oh. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that is in there, the go ahead run on board. So that brings up Rick on Keel. And a quick break to check the leaderboard. State Farm brings you the team's terrorizing catches. Number one, the Angels. Second, the Rangers. The Rays, third. The Orioles, fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Well, anytime you're among the league leading stolen bases like this team is, you can do so many things offensively. You don't have to give up at bats, so you don't have to see guys trying to bunt a guy over. Let him steal the base and then go to work to try to drive him in. They have so many options to score runs with speed, more so than with the home run. That's what makes it so tough to play against a team like this. He delivers. Strike two now with no balls and two strikes on Keel needs to protect the strike zone. Now coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So got to be seeing the ball pretty well. He makes it to second base. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him and he came out of his hand wrong and the ball sailed on him. Too late and he is safe at second. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. Now this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter handled it perfectly. Mm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. And that'll put him on another hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, an outstanding piece of hitting to load the bases. Picks up that single, and now the pressure mounts. First pitch to him, lined right at the second baseman. Beckham able to pull that one in. That'll keep the sacks full. And here are the standings of the Central Division as we move into May. Brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Another year in the middle of the pack for the Kansas City Royals. And that pretty much is as anticipated coming into the season. 
And it's in there, so Gordon credited with that RBI. Chances coming here by the bushels full for Kansas City. Number 32, Ryan N. Anderson. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. Out at the plate. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Well, he's able to bring this one in. And look at the transfer from the glove to the throwing hand. Get rid of it quickly and get the force out at the plate. Nice job. And Kendall's in the box. He's got a 125 batting average in this situation. He's just three for 24 a lifetime against Jared Washburn. That's one. And Gordon scores. The Though the rally here won. energized Let's every new opportunity six. they take advantage of. Two runs in on that hit. That's got to help your chances of winning. Here's our Pepsi WPA graph. And here's Juan Pierre. And the offense here is putting on the show right now. They're in charge. He swings and nails a liner. That's in there. Should score the runner. Boy, this lineup, you just see opportunities here in this offensive lineup. Knows what to do with them. Two men on and two men out. Washburn set and delivers. De Jesus will take it up high. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitch or took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. And Ramirez feels the ball. The Fans, be sure to tune in tomorrow night. We'll see Torrey Hunter and the Los Angeles Angels. They take their game to Boston to challenge the Red Sox at Fenway. Game gets underway 7 o'clock Eastern. First pitch is on the way to Butler. And that swung on and hit. Rios. Pierre is heading home. And Kendall will cross the dish. And they manage to knock in two runs. Two run single on that one. Well, the pitcher's got to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get an out? That's now four straight hits he's given up. Well, Rick on Keel, a chance with two out and two on. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now, each player feeding off the other. Boy, after that quality at bat, I mean, this offense just landing some serious body blows on this pitcher in this game. Boy, you see this get started. It only builds confidence in the hitters. And that'll retire the side, caught by Rios. And mercy, what an offensive game. And a, mercifully for this defense to bring that pitcher off the mound. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crunk, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Last year, just one for 11 off Zach Greinke. And it goes foul. Granky oh. with the delivery. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out. One away. It seemed like he made it easy. Three pitches. Big strikeout. Can't get rid of a guy any quicker than that. Only took three and he's gone. And it's Paul Canerco now. The uh, thing about Paul Canerco now at this stage in his career is he'll play a lot of games at first base, but when he needs a break, he can go to that. That one swung on its line. Now let's take a peek at the league leaders in batting average, courtesy of State Farm. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list, guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate and get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Canerco certainly one of those vice headed for the middle. And it gets through. Great swing today. Now two hits. The, the opportunity for offense is right now. Up all was well struck. Good piece of hitting. The infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he was able to get it by him. And Beckham's in the box. 0 for 1 thus far. A line drive towards short. Gets one at second. And they get two. Great double play. So Zach Greinke, he's heading off. And he puts another scoreless frame up after allowing two back in the first inning. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie Guillen. He's trying to hide the disappointment right now and also thinking about a way to get back into the ballgame. 
now we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from you. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Swung on and ripped towards now second. To back. Beckham able to pull that one in. Shortstop, number 30. Avila's at the plate. 0 for 2 thus far. It's fouled away. Here's the delivery. Line drive. That's foul oh. towards first. Oh. And it holds at 0 and 2. And that's another foul ball. Fastball got him looking two down. A good break on a 90 mile an hour pitch. So two strikes you got to protect. You can't just look at that pitch go down the middle. Johnny, uh, he certainly wasn't expecting another fastball there. Oh, and that's the problem. You can adjust to off speed, but if you look for something slow and get a heater, you're done. First pitch on the way to Gordon. There's a swing towards the hole. And there's Tian for the third out. And they're unable to make any noise here. And Alex Rios to lead off. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 51, Alex Rios. Slider just misses 1 and 0. Swung on, that is hit. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. Now that's going to bring up A.J. Pruszynski. Players with the most extra base Number hits around 12. the league. It's courtesy of AJ State Farm. Pruszynski. He's one for one so far. A runner on first, no out. And the first pitch smashes that one towards the shortstop. Too late, and he is safe at second. Not in time, and he is in there. And that'll bring Mark T into the plate. Steve, not a lot of lefties who necessarily want to go the other way. Great job on that at bat. Oh, exceptional. Went with where the ball was pitched. He fought it off inside and drove it. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Swing and a rocket towards short. That's one away. And they'll try and hold the runners. Second and first, they stay. And it is the month of May for the Royals. The Chicago series ending on Wednesday. Then they'll have to contend with Michael Young and the rest of that lineup for Texas. That should be a great series. They really match up well. That'll get underway Thursday. And they'll kick off the homestand with the Indians. Here's the first pitch. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke. 0-1. The pitch. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Now it's two away. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. And Posednik's batting. 0 for 2 thus far. And he's back easily. Made a dive to get in. Two down. Runners at first and second. Granke with the delivery. Swing and a miss. And he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. Well, you have to be ready for something hard. And this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two seam fastball. And Pierre grabs that one. And the side's retired. There is the uh, relatively new manager, Trey Hillman. This ball club has produced the offense necessary so far. His work now to make sure they keep this lead. 
And we've got Anderson batting. Up the middle. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Up so, the Jason plate. Kendall woke him up. Water. Well, anytime Kendall. you get your first Number hitter eight. up in the inning, big things Jason could happen. Kendall. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. No one out and a runner on first. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. Swing and a miss on the slider. One up. That's a lot of movement there for a pitch at 87 miles per hour. Six. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. Lays off a called strike, 0-1. Two hits, 13 at bats last year off the White Sox here in Chicago. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Picked up by Przinski. Well, defense to tries to get it out here, but they come up empty. Right now you get a guy safe at first base. David De Jesus. He'll try to drive something here. And in 2009 for the Kansas City Royals, David De Jesus was one of the most consistent players on. Hard ground at a short. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. And Anderson comes in. For De Jesus, trying to find a place for him in the lineup has been an issue because he clearly can generate some offense, but still teams trying to find a place to put him where he gives them the best out. Well, that's the thing. To me, he's probably best suited to be a second hitter because he has a little bit of speed, he has gap power, and, and he can hit the ball out of the ballpark on occasion. He's the type of guy that if the leadoff hitter gets on, you have to throw him fastballs, he can make you pay. Fastball got him two down. With two strikes, the hitter one at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. A Rick on Keel, a chance with two out and two on. And he starts and Keel up, hit up the middle. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. Pierre scores. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. Two men on and two men out. Here's the pitch. Swung ground ball to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Slides throw is there. He is out at third. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. In the batter's box, it's Ramirez. One for two in the ballgame. Alexi Ramirez. Now the first pitch. Hit sharply down the line. That's one away. Which teams are leading the way in offense? Well, let's have a look. Our State Farm leaderboard. The White Sox, number one. Blue Jays in second. Third spot, the Red Sox. The Yankees, fourth. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. Well, you talk about a high-octane offense. Here's a swing and a broken bat line drive. And Canerco retired. Carlos Quinton at the plate two away. A couple of RBIs thus far. A complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers, and this guy's doing everything today. Hot shot towards the hole. And it gets through. Finding a way to get on base today is third time. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. And the first pitch. Swing and a line to left. Makes its way through for a single. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, most hitters love that ball elevated so they can try to hit it out of the ballpark. But this is not one of these hitters. He loves the ball down in the strike zone. That's why he got that big knock right there. And Alex Rios up. He singled in his last at bat. Strike two there. Zach Greinke now 0-2. Tough to hit.
A fly ball. That one is foul. Back up the middle. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. Yes, a great situation for some offense. Well, now he's coming up to play with the bases loaded. You see that single right there, Gary? Loads up the bases, and he's got to make this pitcher work. A lot of pressure now on the pitching. He's got to look for pitches. That one's drilled to short. And Quinton's home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Third base. Number 25, Mark Tien. Well, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. I mean, now it's four straight hits. He's got to start wondering what's going on. Maybe he's tipping his pitches or they're just figuring him out. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke. 0 and 1. Well, they really didn't want to face Mark Tian under the up the middle. They pick up four hits in the inning, but manage only one run. The White Sox, they get some much needed production. Still a ways to go. Avila's at the plate. Oh, for three to this point. Number 30, Mike Avila. And here's the first one. First pitch is a slider low, 1 0. Well, Gary, this guy has an outstanding slider. Such a tough pitch to hit. It almost needs a turn signal when he gets to the plate. Flied to right. And now Quinton pulls it in. The Kansas City talk about his slider. What makes it so Four. tough to hit him Alex is Gordon. that the break on that pitch is so big and it's so hard, it's very tough on the hitter to center the ball. And it's Alex Gordon now. He's averaged a 203 now, lifetime the off the White Sox. That's the second out of the inning. And we've got Anderson batting. Trying again here, just one for three thus far. The first pitch. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. The pitch. Pena with a strike two. Good pitch. Well, two outs now, at least trying to quiet down this offense because they have been relentless today. And you got to keep runners off base. And they're doing it this inning. Line towards second. And that's going to do it in this half inning. In, out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. Kansas City, 10. The White Sox, three. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And Mark Kotze up. Just one for five lifetime off Cranky. Here's the first pitch to Kotze. He makes contact, line drive. And that's a base hit. Kotze on it first. Now and that's going to bring Scott for Sunday. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Towards center field. And in there, at least for a single as it gets down. Safe at second, not able to make that play. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment, Alexei Ramirez. Well, two hits the last game, and you can see he was getting a little confidence as that game went on, and he's carrying it into this one with another good start. Well, you take a look at Alexei Ramirez. He's one of the more exciting players in baseball. Finally got moved to his more natural position shortstop. And I tell you what, this is a guy that can excite you in a lot of ways. He can hit for power. He can hit for average. And he's not a big guy, but I tell you what, he can generate some power in that frame. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And a swinging strike on the swung on line to right field. That's one away. And the runners will have to hold that first and second. We've got a moment to see the State Farm League leaders in slugging percentage. That's some big time power hitters right here. Some guys that look to drive the ball out of the ballpark and swing hard in case they hit it. When they make contact, they can do some serious damage. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. 
But Paul Canerco just put together another solid season. He's never going to be a guy that hits for a great average, 265. But he's a run producer in the middle of that lineup. 28 home runs, 88 RBIs in 152 games. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Canerco certainly one of those players you look hit hard to second. And there's one. And two. A double play. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. And Kendall's in the box. Catcher number 18, Jason Kendall. First pitch, here it comes. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. One and one. Doesn't get the call on the slider. One and one. The one one. Right one two. and two. Right on the way. Head up the middle. Back up. That's one away to the plate for the Kansas City Royals. Left fielder. And it's one Pierre now. Three for four thus far. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. Ball. And he takes the ball. One and oh. A shot up the middle. I come able to pull that one in. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. Hit up the middle. Oh, avoided the path of that ball. That was right up the middle. Was that ever close? So that brings up Billy Butler. A big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. A runner on first with two outs. Pitch on the way. Smash towards the middle. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. A Rick on Keel, a chance with two out and two on. Singled home a run in his last at bat. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. You got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. And he starts and Keel out. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 and 1. Lifetime, he's gone 0 for 2 against Tony Pena. Strike two now with no balls and two strikes on Keel needs to protect the strike zone. Well, the hitter must have thought that was either going to go too far out of the zone or too high. He takes the pitch, but it's a strike. He scores. He beats him to the plate. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. And the first pitch. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And he's there to retire the sun. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. Kansas City continuing a blow. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's a perfect three for three in the ballgame. A couple of productive at bats so far this one, despite the fact they're losing. The base hit, uh, driving in run carry, then the home run as well. So he has swung the bat and done some damage. Fouled off that first pitch, Owen won the count. Granke with the delay. Headed for the middle. And it gets through for him again. Guess you expect that today. He's got a four hit game. That's going to bring now Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so Second far. Plate. Let's see how he stacks up Number compared 15. to everybody else. First in doubles, first in batting average. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Now Kendall spots the pitch. Didn't get around in time. 0 1. Look here with this big lead here in the seventh inning. It's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Strike, Strike two. two there. Zach Greinke now 0 and 2. Tough to hit. Well, that two seam fastball down and away. It's awfully tough to center that ball and make solid contact. That time he couldn't even make any contact. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. Well, I made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strikeout. And he starts Rios out. 
And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Greinke. 0 and 1. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way that. And it's hit well off the bat of Rios. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. There's the throw. This a great situation for some offense. Well, anytime you're a hitter, you can get three hits in a game. You're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. It's going to be Pruszynski. Drove in a run earlier in the game. This one towards Pierre. Comes up. Quinton around third. Headed for the plate. And Quinton's home. Steve got a fly ball on that. Not easy to do in that pitch down where that was. No, well, that's right. I mean, he went down and got it. He drove the ball and made an out, but at least allows the runner to advance. Two outs and a man on first. Granke with the delivery. A liner headed for the hole. And there's Gordon for the third out. So they score once on two hits. One man left. The White Sox, they get some much needed production. Still a ways to go. Avila set the plate. Royals. Shortstop, number 30, Mike Avila. And the first pitch. Hit on the ground towards second. Over to Canerco. One away. And it's Alex Gordon now. He flew out his last time up. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. That retires Gordon. Center fielder. Number 30. And we've got Anderson batting. He's had one hit four times up. First pitch to him. And this misses 1 and 0. Well, how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any runs? I mean, they've been blowing out in this one so far. Put a, put a, zero, <clears throat> put a zero up there and let's see if the offense can get it done. Here's the delivery. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That's gone. Side is retired. And a good half inning there. Gone in short order in this one. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. You know, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So interesting move. Hit hard on the ground to short, and it gets through a two for four ball game. Now back. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. First pitch. And Granke's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. This is the go to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Oh, good hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now, 0 and 2. Well, a great pitch right there. Threw in that slider, the hitter just out in front of it. Swung early, came up empty. Straight away left. That's one away. Right now we have the teams doing their best to get on base, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox number one, the Yankees second, in third the Twins, fourth the Jays, and it's the Red Sox number five. Well, when you're ranked number one in on-base percentage, that shows that you hit for average, but you're also willing to take the walk. It speaks to the patience of this lineup, and they're among the best in the game. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. Swing, hot shot, and that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. 
Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Now, Gary, that's too good of an 0-2 pitch right there. I don't care who's at the plate. You've got to try to work the corners a little bit when you're that far ahead. McKay is going to come on and pitch now. He's been brought in to take over for the Royals. And here's Paul Canerco. Average for him last season, a real good 295 against the Royals. Here it comes. That one bounced in the dirt. He swung. It's a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. You know, sometimes in the back you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively, strikes him out on three pitches. Back up the middle. And in there, there's another one. That is his fifth hit of the ball game. And Kotze crosses the plate. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Number 15. Gordon, back up. And that is hit number five in this ball game for him. Have a day, young man. And Beckham's in the box. Well, it's a little bit of redemption here, Steve, but you got to wonder if the hit sharply towards the hole. And Ramirez is home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Center number 51. Wow, that's an even 20 hits for this team in this one. An understatement. They have swung the bats well today. And he starts Rios out. Here's one hit very well deep. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Anderson. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. The White Sox are not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. And Kendall's in the City box. Royals. Had a couple of hits, four trips Number to the plate. Uh, driven in multiple Jason runs Kendall. in this one, Gary, and, and obviously a major part of why they're ahead. Hi. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. And he gets into the Kansas City lineup, John. Uh, what's his approach? Well, if I was still playing. Lined up the middle, and Ramirez feels the ball. So Kendall is retired. Kansas City one. Left fielder, number six. And we got Pierre batting. He's averaged 297 lifetime off the White Sox. First pitch on the way. Just missed with the fastball, 1 0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And Pierre is retired. That's two gone. Right fielder, number nine. And David DeJesus to bat. Working on a fine ball game. Three for five to this point. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. And it'll be the White Sox. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Leading it off, A.J. Brzezinski. Got a couple of RBIs thus far. Well, they're losing right now, but his two RBIs at least are hope for the future. And here's the pitch. A smash between short and third, and it's caught to play by Gordon. I said, uh, you know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. Hit in the air to left center. That one gets down for a base hit. Tian keeps running. That will bring up Mark Kotze. Well, this is a tough piece of hitting right here. The ball in on his hands, able to fight it off and drive it the other way. And that's that quintessential kind of inside out base hit. Here's the pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. 
it's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't a shot up the middle, and that's a base hit. That's a on it first. Dean going to third. Good offensive chance here. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And for Sednik's batting, last time up, flew out. Well hit towards the middle. That's one. And a double play. They got a vote. Well, put it in the books for the Kansas City Royals. They get the win today. Good all-around team effort. And time to present the Pepsi Clutch Performer Award. The standout man on offense today, Carlos Quinn. Well, to say this was an impressive performance, Gary, would be an understatement. It was like watching a guy who knew every pitch the pitcher was throwing. Maybe the catcher was giving him the signs. Who knows? He was hitting the ball to all fields. And that adage, he hit them where they ain't, that's what. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball land.